Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part one of my Sims 4 high school years let's play. I'm really not sure how long I want this to be. I don't know if it's going to be like a mini LP or whatever, but I am literally so excited to get into this pack. I've been waiting for a pack like this for forever. Now, obviously, this is not uh, the teen Sim that we are going to be playing with. Um, this is actually Theo Richmond and I'll get into the backstory of this family in just a little bit, um, but I did want to address all these bugs that have been going on with the recent patch um i really did not want to wait um for ea to come out with a new patch for them to fix this old patch because i'm literally impatient so basically i'm going to try and avoid slash ignore any bugs that come up just because i really really wanted to get into this gameplay and start this series like as soon as i possibly could not the lighting oh my god that's gorgeous guys i just got a new reshade and i'm literally in love with it like the lighting looks absolutely absolutely spectacular i don't even have um lighting on high i'm pretty sure it's like on medium or whatever but with that being said i do want to get this intro in really really quick i know um some of you might know this family um i'm gonna let theo jog around for a little bit it is a sunday morning one of his favorite times to go out jogging um because literally it's just it feels so good out um it is fall time at the moment um, I do want to say thank you to Simlessy for this house that she posted on the gallery. Um, I did kind of renovate the whole entire town of Copperdale. I added a lot of like, um, more in-depth like lots so like simlessly made like a new copperdale high school i put that down it looks so much better than the original ea version of the high school um but anyways let's go ahead and introduce our sims for this let's play um so this is antonia richmond she's actually feeling tense right now why oh she likes to be outdoors okay that makes sense um so for you guys who do not know who antonia is this woman is literally my pride and joy i actually when i first started my channel did this let's play called antonia's legacy um and basically to put like a really in-depth storyline in a short version um antonia was adopted she was actually found in a trash can as a newborn her birth mother left her there and there's like a whole bunch of shit with that i don't know why she's in andrea's room let's go back downstairs i'm gonna have her make some breakfast some Sunday morning breakfast. Let's see. What does she want to do? Let's do omelets. Actually, actually no, 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 no. I want to do pancakes just because I feel like Antonia is the type of mom to be like, guys, first day of school tomorrow. Like, let's make some pancakes. Like, I love her so much. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I had this whole Antonia's legacy thing going on. Um, if you want to watch that, I will have that linked below. And then after that, I kind of took a short break from YouTube and then started up the Richmonds. So these are not her only two kids. <laughs> She has two that are already grown and out of the house. So her firstborn is Javier. Um, and what's interesting about him, you know, he's actually a college dropout, but Theo and Antonia do not know he dropped out. Like they still think he's in college, which is just crazy. Um, and then they have Delaney Richmond as well. Um, she's She loves music and she's actually gaining royalties from her songs. Like she's actually making money off of it, which is really neat. But yeah, I've been playing with this entire family since I started YouTube, which was almost wait it was two years ago i think it's been exactly two years since my channel also i've been having this weird glitch where my male sims are wearing bras <laughs> when they're shirtless like i don't know what's going on i don't i literally updated all my mods and i do have cc which that might be an issue but anyway so i let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna kind of rush through sunday because i want to get to the high school aspect um but i'm gonna go ahead and wake up our our babies right now the ones we are playing with um so this is andrea richmond i'm actually gonna actually let's change her into her everyday wear so andrea is the third born child of um antonia and theo i love her so much she is literally antonia's twin she is so cute um she actually wants to be a veterinarian when she um graduates and all that stuff i actually haven't played with the vet career ever <laughs> so i'm hoping after this let's play kind of mini series um whenever they do age up into young adults um i do want to kind of play around with that and i am having like like a brand new let's play come out after this focusing on this entire family switching between households stuff like that um because each kid is very very unique i love them all um but she's gonna go ahead and take a shower she's feeling really excited so 
this whole family actually used to live um in henford on bagley and tony was she had this like midlife crisis where she was like you know what i want to live on a farm and i want to raise chickens and cows like i'll definitely go ahead and share some screenshots on the screen here for that um but the high school in henford on bagley they didn't i don't know it just it didn't feel like a fit for them um for their kids and so this new high school that just popped up i don't know where it just recently got built um here in copperdale and they decided to pack up and move to copperdale and they're really enjoying it i really feel like this world suits them also if there's like little choppy lag things i'm sorry um but they're actually here in this lot and they're literally right here next to the pier and i'm so excited um to kind of do things with that um but andrea i'm not gonna answer that i don't know why somebody's calling her today who is this random woman okay see let's okay guys i am going to try to ignore the bugs as best i can like as you can see her bladder is totally full but it's still yellow like literally just ignore that i'm honestly just gonna ignore that i don't really care but Theo yeah. you just jogged so let's go ahead and take a shower but tomorrow is the first day of school I'm actually going to Gabe's about to wake up soon actually I'm actually gonna wake him up now this is Gabriel Richmond he is the fourth and final kid of the Richmond family he's literally like the baby Antonia he's such a mommy's boy like it's kind of not i don't know i don't know how to feel about it like him and antonia are super close and it's funny because antonia had him when she was like i don't even know antonia is probably like 47 48 right now um and she kind of wasn't supposed to have him <laughs> he's not a mistake he's a miracle baby okay that's all i'm saying okay um but i love him he's the baby of the family he is actually really interested in um snowboarding and skiing so theo's actually from mount komarebi Kam that's where his um heritage and ancestry is from um and they actually took the kids to mount komarebi like as a vacation like a while ago and he just absolutely fell in love with you know skiing and snowboarding he's actually really good at it he wants to pursue it as a career um and of course antonio and theo they want him to be happy but they are a little worried about like if if that will actually be a good career for him but they do believe in him so i guess we'll just see what happens like in the next let's play especially i think i'm just gonna call it the richmonds again because i had that going for a while and then i was like mm, i'm not feeling it but like with this new pack and you know honestly the new reshade i don't know why i just it's gotten me a lot more into the game I just feel like things are more realistic but this dude needs to eat come on bro so gabe is actually in um llama court he's a llama corn scout as well um he was in scouts when he was younger as well oh and last but not least i literally almost forgot this is mia it's actually like what the <laughs> that was weird okay but mia is actually andrea's dog quote technically she's the family dog but as you can see andrea has like a little pet bed up here also seamlessly didn't make all of this as you can i love custom content i love custom content and i'm gonna use my custom content andrea and gabe are definitely a little nervous to be the new kids on the block okay um they haven't ever had the experience of being the new kids at school i do want to play with the cheerleading and the football just because that does come with the game now do i think andrea like do i think she's the cheerleader type no i honestly don't but i feel like she's going through this phase right now where she's kind of i don't know i don't she's wanting to i don't want to say be popular because that's just so cliche and i don't like it but she's always kind of been the quiet girl in school and she's gotten teased a little bit and i feel like she is wanting to try cheerleading and if it goes good great and if it doesn't it doesn't um but he's actually gabe's actually going to um scouts right now i will have gabe do soccer or not soccer football um Ooh, I texted someone, but they didn't text back, and it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Who is she asking? Because I feel like Theo and Antonio would have different responses, I feel. I feel like Theo would say, no, wait for them to respond. I don't know. Let's just wait for them to respond. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, she was definitely asking Antonio. But I am going to have Gabriel um, mess around with the football aspect. Um, I think Theo... He, obviously he's not going to force his kids to do anything but he does want his kids to be like 
active participants in the school and i say this because he's actually a college professor um and he feels like education is really really important so he really wants his kids to do like extracurricular activities and stuff like that um so that they have a better chance into getting into um distinct universities and stuff like that he actually works at brightchester which is like a really renowned like good reputation school and he wants his kids to go there but of course it's their choice um gabriel was asked to talk about his scouting experiences during the weekly troop meeting should he make the speech entertaining or focus on being informative um let's try to make it entertaining let's see gabriel stepped to the front of the room and gave the most entertaining speech a scout ever heard everyone from the llama scouts to the troop leader were roaring with laughter by the end that's great i love him gabriel's definitely um he's like his brother javi they're both like mischief like they love I don't know they're class clowns that's what i meant they're class clowns okay so before i skip to tomorrow the first day of school i want to say that i'm actually going into this pack like completely blind i've watched like a little bit of gameplay here and there from other youtubers but i really don't like i'm literally going to be finding out stuff as i go along um so you guys are gonna see like my first impressions to everything which is really exciting you know what's funny the one thing i'm most excited for in this like new patch is the fact that we can sit on the ground like how crazy is that and it's like the bare minimum but for some reason i'm so excited about it and i see this high school um pie menu right here uh review class schedule study for exam okay what does this do review class schedule monday morning math science okay so every day has that's interesting every day has two classes i didn't know that um and i didn't know friday was exam day though which is really interesting so this is going to be really fun. I'm super excited. So I'm actually going to let them kind of have their um, chill little Saturday. I don't really think, you know, they don't really like to do things on Saturday or not Saturday, Sunday. They just like to chill, you know, um, but I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next day, their first day, and I'll pick up with you guys then. Not even like two minutes after I said that I was going to pick up with you guys. I got this notification. Gabriel's or Gabriel has a pain in his mouth, booking a dentist appointment might be a good idea. So I love mods. I will absolutely be playing with mods. Um, I think this is, uh, this mod is by, what? Don't tell anyone what we talked about. We can talk about it more at school. What's the tea? Um, but this mod called like, I think it's something dental. It's by, is it? Yeah, Deep Indigo, the person who, the mod creator who's made like the healthcare services and all this stuff. Um, so for that, I guess I'm going to go to dental services. Um, it'd be interesting. I, I think I want to give him braces actually. So let's book a dentist appointment for Gabe. Um, and then I guess we'll go to it tomorrow after school. It's the next morning and in classic Antonia Richmond fashion, of course, she's making a grand breakfast for the kids first day. She also put up balloons like this woman is so extra. Like, I love her. I think it's because she's like she's been having a really hard time watching all of her kids grow up. Like it literally feels like Javier, her firstborn, was born like literally yesterday. Um. And it's so funny because she actually, tr trigger warning, um, miscarriage, but she ended up having a miscarriage after Javi and she didn't think that she would ever have kids again. Like she thought Javi was going to be an only child and then she had three more. Like it was such a pleasant surprise. Um, and it's been a little tough on her watching all the kids grow up. Um, but I, I also think she's really excited for the next chapter of their lives. So I want to say that Andrea is probably, I, I think she's like 16 or 17 right now. I'd say like a junior. Um, and then Gabe actually recently aged up. So I think he's a freshman. I'm, I really do. Um, so there's a little bit of an age gap there, which I don't know if there's like different, I haven't seen if there's different like levels or grades in the high school pack like freshman sophomore and i also know that like <laughs> america's not the only place who has high schools like high schools are everywhere and not everybody has freshman and sophomore <laughs> and junior and senior so i guess everybody's just gonna be the like quote same age in the high school but i you know i like storytelling and all that all that good stuff so but she's gonna go ahead and finish this up i'm gonna have the kids get ready real quick so he's gonna use the bathroom and take a shower and i guess she's gonna go upstairs as well pee like a champion girl it's your first day like what a queen i also i think for them to join the cheerleading and football they have to go to business 
I'm very like this is this whole UI new phone thing. This is new to me. Like I don't even know how. Um, but I guess we join an after school activity. Um, and I guess he will as well. And I'm really I'm really excited. I know that like um the after school activities aren't as like in detail as everybody would have wanted them to be but i'm still pretty excited anyway because i used to have to download mods for this stuff you know what i'm saying um select a career for gabriel so oh interesting there's chess and computer is this new i feel like it is okay let's do football and do that and then should gabriel switch activities to football team fresh recruit okay so i feel like he's kind of outgrown scouts a little bit um no it's not sad you're on the football team my guy so it looks like their practice starts today at 3 30 so like right after school um and then she's gonna go ahead and join the cheerleading squad that'll be it so gabriel's now a football team fresh recruit at high school football team um, he starts Wednesday at 3.30. Oh, you make my day so much better. These two are so in love. I freaking love them. I'm going to have them cuddle on the couch. And the kids are going to be like, ew, what is wrong with you? But we're going to do it anyway. Come on. Cuddle, please. They're so in love. And it's, they've been together for so long. And I just love it. Like, this is goals. I aspire to be like this couple. Like, for real. But it looks like the kiddos are ready for school. They've brushed their teeth, have they? Um, he, he does need to go to his dental appointment today. But I'm going to have him brush his teeth anyway. Just, you know what? I find it so funny. He's going to, like, floss because he never, ever flosses. And then he's going to go to the dentist. And they're going to be like, do you floss? And he's going to be like, yeah, every day. But no. We all know it. We all know it. Like your gums are bleeding and everything. And they're like, have you flossed? And I'm like, yes, absolutely. What are you talking about? Look at this man. I love him. I do want to like mess around with the facial hair and body hair. I'm not sure how that works yet. I guess I'll probably do that in the next episode. Um, Once I get like, I'm probably going to have to look up this stuff i'm probably not gonna have to look at all like do this blindly um you have multiple sims about to go to class would you like to follow them or should they go without you okay let's go so select which students to follow and let's follow them both oh my god i'm so excited also peep the new background love it all right we have made it to copperdale high school look at them in their little outdoor so it is a little chilly outside i know that's not realistic because like school in america starts in like the hot months but it was fall in my game and i didn't feel like waiting like a whole extra year but this okay simlessly made this new school how amazing is this like she made a whole parking lot and look at this like a reception area and lockers i'm so excited so <laughs> like i said i'm going into this blindly okay so we can actually claim locker ownership that's really cool so i guess gabriel will claim this one over here and then andrea is there any okay uh plants stink <laughs> andrea no no ma'am but okay so here we are i actually are these other kids oh there's Gemma charm she's from the what is that realm of magic oh. thing um we got a cat dude oh dude. oh my god andrea knows him already she doesn't like him i wonder why that's interesting but we have rowan elderberry i think he's from realm of magic as well oh my god this guy has a mohawk and i'm assuming that's the principal okay may prescott so i am familiar with the prescotts um at least from what i've seen like with the trailers and stuff so for lockers that's really cool okay so i want andrea i don't know what he's doing and i also don't know when okay so it's morning free time all right that's great so she's gonna freshen up in her locker and i you can't wear hats in school i feel in most american schools so i'm gonna have them change into their everyday wear real quick it's so funny because they have like so many move lists from all my mods um but what is this guiding light from friend okay so that's the advice he got earlier so what else can she do with the lockers decorate locker that's so cute oh my god what would she what would andrea do gamer goth eco enthusiast dark academia grunge kawaii and preppy i don't know i feel like she would do preppy i don't think she's like preppy in nature but i just feel like she would decorate her locker in that way and then let's go to gabe's locker real quick um let's buy a football actually that's gonna be very useful this girl oh my god you're naked bestie all right i went ahead and fixed that issue but ooh, it kind of seems like gabe is taking a liking what's her name morgan 
that's familiar is she part i can't remember what pack she comes i know she's a townie um but he went ahead there's so much to explore are they going to class now okay cool so it looks like we're going okay learn about new school from principal so he's gonna stop by the principal's office later um she also wants to do that so i think they're gonna go how cool is it they're in the same class that's really really cool so I guess this is what class is this i don't remember i can't remember if science or math was first but look at her being on her phone in class oh my god they're all on their phone <laughs> okay so i kind of want to see i am a little disappointed that um if you guys remember in sims Free university you were able to like um i'm gonna turn the voices down a little bit because this is annoying me but in sims 3 university you were able to like take notes in class or you could like doze off in class or talk to your friends and i thought that was really cool so it's kind of a bummer we can't do that now um, but okay, I think this is math class and morning class ends in 45 minutes. So she's taking notes, Gabe's listening. I really like the fact that they have the same classes together, especially being at a new school. Like, I feel like that's going to make them a little less like anxious about it all. These two are really close. They really do like to stick together. Obviously, if you guys saw like in the thumbnail, they're literally hugging like they're really, really close. Um, and even though Gabe's like younger, he's he's very protective over her now. As far as dating goes, I feel like um, Gabriel does kind of want a girlfriend. Like, he's getting to that age where he's like, mm. um, But Andrea, she's like, I don't think she's really interested in dating anybody right now. She's never had a boyfriend, and I feel like she wants to kind of keep it that way. Just because she's witnessed, like, her big sister, or not Andrea, her big sister Delaney go, go through some breakups, and they were really hard on her. Like, especially when she was in high school, and she kind of saw her sister, like, struggle and she was like i don't know if i want to date men so but andrea's definitely she's a goody two shoes but i feel like i i don't know why i feel like she's gonna have some sort of bad influence and she's gonna want to sneak out and all this stuff which we've all like we've all had our phase like at least most of us like <laughs> during our high school years but okay so it's lunchtime so i'm actually since it is lunchtime right now i want to talk to the principal real quick um Let's go ahead and give her a respectful introduction because she would do that. And Gabe's going to go to the cafeteria, which where is the cafeteria? It's in here. Okay, so let's order food. And what does he want to get? Um, I feel like he would get a hamburger slider. I feel like he's craving some beef right now. You feel me? <laughs> She's going to the principal right now. It looks like the principal's actually here right now in the cafeteria. I like that. I like how she eats with the students. That's kind of cool. But she's going to go ahead and introduce herself real quick. Um, who's this girl? She's actually really pretty. Greta Lauren. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to this girl too. Um, she's really pretty. I feel like they could be some they could be good friends actually do you know her okay so i feel like she probably already met her already andrea's definitely really good at making new friends and talking to people she's really charismatic in that way she used to be really shy but she's not so much anymore let's go ahead and um because we knew we do need to be friendly with a faculty member so let's brighten her day say like hey like i'm andrea i'm new I'm really looking forward to this. I actually moved from Henford on Bagley and she's like, oh, Henford on Bagley. I have been there before. How did you like it there? And Andrea actually really liked it there. She liked helping her mom with the chickens and the cows and stuff like that. Um, but Gabe's just kind of chilling. Who do we want to be friendly with? Vincent Bird. Let's go ahead. Let's do a funny introduction. Like, what's up, man? Like, why are you sniffing your burrito like that, bro? <laughs> did you guys see that he was literally like sniffing the burrito um has andrea ordered food oh i totally forgot i had their i have their needs set on no needs like decay like their needs aren't going down just because i was having a hard time with the patch and all that stuff but i do want her to eat anyway let's get um a veggie slider i do know um delaney is a vegetarian is she no no delaney's not a vegetarian delaney is lactose intolerant so i actually think is andrea a vegetarian i could have sworn she is oh man i could have sworn she is well maybe she'll like i feel like she'll make that choice soon because 
I don't know. She's been thinking about she's a she's an env environmentalist. You feel me? Very eco friendly. So she's been thinking about doing that recently. But while they're eating, because we do have an hour left of lunch, I want to take a look around the school a little bit. Um, Simlessly did an amazing job. So we do have like this these courtyards back here, which would definitely be great for like studying. We have a gym right here. I don't know if there was a gym in the original high school but if there wasn't like how but this looks really amazing i kind of want um i might put later on a basketball hoop in here one day i think that would be really fun like for pe um but this looks like a library and i'm assuming i'm assuming this is the other class where we go to but look at oh my god that's so cute i love it so lunch is about to end. I want her to... Let's grab an apple. Why not? I feel like she's a little more hungry. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Delaney, oh my goodness. I feel like Delaney would be like, Andrea, you want to be a cheerleader? Like, that is so not you, but okay. Like, I don't feel like... Delaney knows Andrea. She knows her little sister. And she's kind of like, why is Andrea being a cheerleader? Like, that's not you. Um... But I feel like, like I said earlier, Andrea definitely has been struggling. Like, she's she's a nice, sweet girl, a little shy. She's been picked on, and I feel like she just wants to try something new. But I don't feel like she's doing it for herself. I feel like she's joining the cheerleading team, like, to get, like, recognition and not be, like, so picked on all the time for being shy and quiet. I really don't know how she's going to like it. I don't... I never saw her as the type to like that stuff, so... It'll be interesting to see, you know, how well she does with it. I don't know if she's going to like the other cheerleaders or whatnot. Um, I wonder how long this video is because we might have to wait for after school activities until um, like the next episode. Okay, yeah, I just checked the time um, for the video and it's getting a little bit long. So we might have to wait till like after school activities for next episode. But in the next episode, I do want to like explore like thrifty and go thrifting because I feel like Andrea really likes thrifting and actually she might invite, um, Delaney to come to I feel like they're both really into that, but okay. Kick me. It's almost like grade school all over again. At some point during class, some of the rougher classmates silently put a, oh no, kick me sign on the back of a fellow student. Okay, it's not Gabe. I thought they put it on Gabe. I was about to like throw some hands. Like, okay, Antonia is like, she's a tiger mom. Like, if you mess with her kids, she would literally come to the school and demand like those kids get punishment. Like, she's that type. And Theo would be holding her back like, no, babe, no, it, it's not worth it. But okay, someone should stand up to those bullies, but should it be today? Tell the classmate discreetly, make a scene about the sign to the teacher. He would make a scene, I feel. Gabriel tells the teacher about the sign and helps get it off. The teacher is thankful and tells Gabriel that he did the right thing. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like Gabe, um, he's a very sweet kid. He's very moral. Um, I was really about to pop off because I thought they put it on his back. I was literally about to, I was about to be like a mess with my, mess with my kiddos. They're not even mine. Oh my God. It looks like class is ending in literally five minutes. So that was the school day. It's kind of short. I gotta be honest, but I think it's because time kind of flew by past because I was talking pretty much the whole time, but it looks like they're done with class today. So Gabe got a gold and did you get a gold? I don't think she did. It's fine. It's whatever. All right. End of day report the teachers oh she's going to her locker autonomously love that uh the teachers have collected homework and dismissed their students some sims are still hanging around but everyone is free to head home after noting how students performed on their homework and in class here's how everyone did gabriel and andrea impressed their teachers and learned a lot today that's really awesome so it looks like all the teachers were impressed with them you know being the new kid is not easy it really isn't but i really love how those guys are that's such guys that is literally american high school for you all like i'm not making fun of anybody but like you would literally see this stuff like during the hallways and you just be like it's natural to see it so you'd be like oh okay like a guy wearing cat ears like dude kids at my school at my high school like literally ate tide pods like i witnessed somebody eat a tide pod like it was <laughs> it was not fun bro but i'm gonna go ahead it looks like greta over here is doing her homework so maybe andrea will go over here um greta probably asked her if they wanted to do a little bit of homework together i feel like she's really sweet i like her um so how about we do our homework right here do we have homework where is it is this a glitch okay well she's probably i guess she'll do her homework at home but she's gonna talk to greta 
Uh, Greta's feeling a little bit uncomfortable, so we're gonna try and brighten up her mood a little bit. Like, how was your first day? She asked, and Andy was like, "It was all right, thanks." Like, I'm really glad that I at least made like a new friend. You know, I think she was scared that she wasn't going. Oh, negative. What's going on? <laughs> okay, he's sitting with us too. That's great. That's great. Um, but what is Gabe doing? I wonder. Doesn't didn't their after after school activities start today? Oh, it starts in two days. That's great. That's great. That actually gives us plenty of time to kind of, you know, go to thrifty and, you know, explore everything like that. So what can he do with the football? He actually has two, which that was my fault. Can I put one right here? Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to sell this one and then put this one back in his inventory. Um, What can he do? He can play difficult football practice and play regular. Actually, you know what I want him to do? I want to, him to introduce himself to Morgan because uh you know i think he has a little bit of a hallway crush which what is miss girl doing where'd she go morgan it looks like she's running away she's like i don't who is this who is this weird guy who's gay like why is he following me around <laughs> that's so funny i also forgot we actually have a new social bunny thing which i will take a look at in a sec andrea is having the time of her life and she feels ready for a concerto concerto should she acknowledge that she likes violin um sure i think i think andrea would be the type is she playing violin right now no oh my god is this the music room or is it the art room i can't tell but i'm just gonna let andrea chill for a sec oh my god <laughs> oh my god wait he has like a good impression of morgan but morgan doesn't have a good impression of him <laughs> unreliable oh my god okay gabriel sentiments so this is a first impression mod um by lumpen out i believe so his first impression of morgan is reasonable how nice to meet a sim who seems as reasonable well balanced as morgan so he does definitely have a crush morgan um sentiment of dislike a sim who gives the impression that they can never stick to one thing place job or person doesn't inspire morgan to build a friendship oh man maybe we can change her mind because he really seems to like have an interest for her i will say gabe does gabe does seem like the type to not really be able to be reliable in that way he is a freshman i feel like morgan's probably a sophomore and she's probably like what what is this freshy like do like why is he talking to me like get him away from me <laughs> i love that i feel like is there is there like a high school pie menu they can talk about i don't think so it might be in the friendly category i mean she is talking to him so maybe he's like he's making a name for himself he's making a better impression for himself i wonder what did you see that i wonder what he said to make her like or did to make her feel that way looks like he's walking away i don't know maybe i'll try again another day i do i kind of want to give her a makeover because i really i i'm getting a storyline vibe i really am but what is he doing he's gonna boost confidence okay so it is 5 30 it's getting a little late obviously so i think they're gonna go ahead and head home for the day they definitely have a lot to talk about to theo and antonia for sure what is this it's almost as if someone is controlling his life oh my god <laughs> will gabriel finally fulfill his dreams or will Whoever is controlling his life, stop his wishes from coming true. <laughs> oh my god, they know. If they find out about the humans. Oh my gosh. Existential crisis, am I right? <laughs> but look how cute she looks. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Next episode, we'll definitely have to um, go check out Thrifty and kind of do... Kind of see what the new social bunny is all about. I haven't really like seen too much of it yet, so I'm really excited. But yeah, guys, that was part one of my new high school series. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you have any like tips or pointers or storyline ideas, let me know because he definitely likes this girl, but he is just, he is just, I don't know. He's, he's, what is it called? Fumbling the ball. I don't even know, <laughs> but I will go ahead and catch you guys in the next one. Bye.